guys, welcome to Tech Paradise. It's me, Devyan Shadon, and in this video, I'm gonna give you in-depth review of the Li Eco Li 2. This phone still comes under top 10 budget devices. So in this video, we will also find out that still is this phone is a good option to purchase under 12k. So before any further ado, let's get started. Let's check out what we get inside the box. Some papers. Here is the jack. The adapter. And the cable. Let's start with the building design. This phone is very similar to the previous Lee Oneus device. But in the back, the camera position has changed. And on the top, we have notification LED, sensors, earpiece, and an 8MP front facing camera that's followed by a 5.5 inch Full HD IPS LCD display. And at the bottom, we have capacitive keys with the LED backlit. To the back, we have a secondary noise cancellation microphone, a 16 megapixel camera with dual LED, dual tone flash, a fingerprint scanner, and LED TV branding. To the right, we have volume rockers and power button. We have SIM tray in the left side. Sadly, there is no memory card expansion with the micro SD. In the bottom, we have the speakers, the Type-C port, and the jack because the jack comes within the Type-C port. So you get a cord here for using headphones by the Type-C port. It comes with a 3000 mAh Li-Eon non-removable battery. It is 0.5 mm slimmer and 15 grams lighter than the previous Li-TV li Talking about the display, the device comes with 5.5 inch Full HD IPS LCD display giving pixel density of 400 pixels per inch. The display is sharper, the colors are natural, contrast is good for a non AMOLED display. And it gets bright enough not to face issues in the sunlight. It is powered by 1.8 GHz octa core Snapdragon 652 chip with 3 GB of RAM, 32 GB onboard storage and there is no room for memory expansion by a memory card. While gaming with high graphics game, it gets heat up to 47 degrees Celsius after an hour and seems like there is a lot of quality control issues with the smartphone. Coming at battery life, the 3000 mAh battery do a great job. With my usage, it lasts for one day with heavy use of 4G, gaming, Instagram, couple hours of call, video streaming, and lots of emails from a single charge. So there is no issue with the battery life. Li Eco Li 2 supports super quick charging as it gets 0% to 50% in 30 minutes. Anyway, let's come to the camera performance. It comes with a 16 megapixel shooter with 2.2 aperture, but unfortunately, camera performance is not acceptable with 16 megapixel shooter. The camera faces issues by focusing from very close to the image. Like here, you can see that the image is not very clear. It's not focusing anywhere. It's a little blur kind of. So the image is very noisy. The front camera, which is 8 megapixel shooter, shoot detailed pictures with good lighting and contrast and do a decent job. Here are the samples of photos I captured with this device. This is the front camera. The front camera is very good. Theoretically, it can shoot 4K videos and slow mo videos too. The speakers, the call quality, the microphone do a great job on this phone, and there are no issues regarding this. 
it is fast and accurate too. Let's come to the software. The Lee Eco comes with EUI 5.8 stable version with the Snapdragon 652 with 3 gigs of RAM and 32 GB onboard storage. RAM management is very good in the phone and the UI is fast and smooth. The EUI don't include notification toggles in the notification bar and the toggles are included in the recent app tray. This phone has performed well in the speed test and the RAM management. This phone is priced at 11,999 rupees in the Indian market. Recommending this phone is a little bit difficult as the camera quality, overheating, focusing problem. So if you want this phone for photography, this phone will be a disappointing one. So I will not suggest this phone for the photographers, but if you talk about the specs, the RAM, the processor, the UI, everything is great on this phone.